What's up guys and girls, you're tuned in to another one of K1's K-pop sessions this morning. We're gonna cover three artists today. First off, Daya. Next off, we're gonna cover Haze. And last but not least, Vav. Very awesome voice. What that stands for. K-pop is now in session with yours truly, K1SBL. What is up, dudes? So yeah, Daya to me, this song was a bop for me. I love this song so much. I I listened to it for like weeks, maybe like a whole month straight. But this song was so catchy, and I just love this group. So uh, this is the only song that I ever got into with them at first, and then I had to go back and listen to their other songs. I was like, uh, their, their other songs are alright. I mean, I I liked Mr. Potter and all the other songs that they came out with but that woo woo was just the one that stuck to me it was just like that was a song for me man um, especially the story i had with woo woo just go back and uh watch my review on youtube that i i did with daya i have an old uh k-pop session with them <laughs> when this song first came out uh, but yeah we're, we'll jump right to it let's uh turn this down we're gonna go on v live check them out on v live so we're gonna go through the MV. I I wish there was a uh, I wish I had a live performance of this new song. So their new song is called Woo Wa. Uh, I'm not a big fan of taking your old song and just manipulating maybe a one word or a couple words in your song and remaking it into a whole new song. Like why don't you just make an entirely new song the one song that triggered me and i mean it's a bopper it's a good song but the the one song that triggered me was uh rbb by red velvet i, I love red velvet but rbb just triggers me i'm like why do you take a title of your old song and just add one more word to it <laughs> but uh anyway it's it's a good song but it still triggers me to this day so woo, wah, we'll go with it um daya with uh are they with mbk i forget what company they're with uh i think they are with mbk because i think that's um that was the official release of their music video so daya members so oh yeah a little bit about daya too i don't think k profiles updated oh yeah they did so sad to say they lost yet another member and uh it was the one that um I don't want to say anything bad about her, but <laughs> it was the one that everyone would say um, would annoy people. So we got Hui Hyun, we got Yunus, um, Joon. As long as they have Joon. Oh, oh, look, see, Jenny is not updated. They didn't move her to the bottom. So Jenny is the one that they lost. Yebin, as long as they have Joon and Yebin, uh, those are my two top favorites. Uh, Cheon, Unche, and. Uh, Oh, hold on. We we came onto the site to see what company they're with. I'm sorry, I'm wasting time here. Under MBK Entertainment. So yeah. So all right, let's get started. MBK Entertainments. No nah, man, 1080p. Let's go. Daya with wow. Let's go. Is this gonna be too loud? Are my levels right? Let me make sure my levels are okay before we. Dive right into it. Dive right into it. Oh my god, who is that? I can't even see her. Oh, that's Unche. Yo, Unche is so cute. Oh, let's go. Boy, him. So this song is it's very hard hitting right from the start. Loving it already. Open up with Somji. Oh my god, the melody is already rocking. I love it. I like how they dropped the hard hitting instrumentals. And they settled into this like disco style. Holy crap, this is dope. He's on the air hockey table. Oh, here we go. Build into the chorus. Oh, let's hear the chorus. 
I always get excited for the chorus. On the chorus. Damn, Eunice is looking good though. Yepin with the short hair, dude. And June, oh my god. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Oh, okay, I get it now. The chorus, I don't know, it didn't really catch me, but it was catchy. The build up to it felt good. Oh, dang. What are these different genres in the song? <laughs> we dipped into this Middle Eastern style all of a sudden. Is this gonna be a break? Dance break? In the choreo? Dang, Chaeyoung. She's lost your balloons. Are you gonna buy a pop or not? <laughs> Oh dang the level, she's on the floor. She's on the floor. Let's see if the chorus will catch me this time. Oh that's what I wanted to say. It, it turned into like a really girly pop song. No, well, not really girly like cutesy, but like very I wanna say like a feministic sound to it. I love this like I think it's like a disco house. Not house, because there's no piano. Usually house you'll hear a piano, but it's like a rockin' disco song, man. I love it. I love like the old school style music. 70s, 80s. I love how K-pop dips into that, like it's it's their thing. Like that's what K-pop is. It's just 70s, 80s style music. <laughs> But it's modern. Make it sound so good. Those instrumentals hitting so hard. <laughs> oh no, it ended so soon. Was this going off? Was this going off when I wasn't. <laughs> Could I not hear my alarm? Dude, that was amazing. Doing it amazing. Uh, I want to say it had like a, like a disco, I think even like a funky sound to it. I don't know. I, I'd have to see it again. But uh, yeah, we're only doing it once because we're just going to go run through one time. But yeah, Daya, maybe I should have saved that for last. That would have been the topping on the cake but um but yeah let's go through we got a uh, haze up next haze came out with uh she's fine i agree she's with uh stone music i believe i don't know man because okay so last time i did um everglow or yesterday i did everglow and i was like i was like uh, what was uh what was everglow's um uh, uh label again oh uh, stone music uh released the um the MV, so they're under Stone Music, but they're actually under Yuhua, and then my buddy Luminous had to point it out, like, no, they're with Yuhua. <laughs> I was like, oh crap, I messed that up yesterday. So, uh, Everglow is with Yuhua Entertainment, but I think they coincide with each other. Like, Yuhua is from, I think, from China, and then they, and then their, uh, their label is, uh, I guess, satellite label in Korea. I guess they help produce the song, and then Stone Music, uh, brought it out or something like that i don't know what the negotiations were under their their contracts or whatnot but uh anyways back to the subject Hayes came out Hayes, if you don't know Hayes, she's awesome hip-hop artist of uh k-pop her all her music is just awesome uh i love her music so dive right into it Hayes, i guess woodstone music entertainment and uh she is fine she's fine <laughs> Yo, how do people have broken phones like that? I've never had a broken phone before. Her voice, she's just got this distinct voice where it just sounds so good. Oh 
almost like a, a jazzy voice to it. So far, visuals in this MV. Kind of story we're trying to tell here. Nice and chill as usual. This is how her music always is. <clears throat> Damn. That was a shot done in me. One shot. But it just went like back and forth. Oh shoot, I forgot to turn on CCs. Okay, CCs don't work. We're good, we're good. Uh, dance studio. Oh dang. Go. She's got that camo skirt. Yo, all those broken phones. Pretty dope, she's fine. Oh, they want me to watch Wuwa again. Thanks. Thanks, YouTube. I gotta say, it sounded like her other song. Du, 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 du. I think it's Jenga. It sounded similar to Jenga, so. Um, and then they just, it, it sounded really familiar. <laughs> but yeah, that's Hayes. She's fine as she is, truly, she's fine. All right, and then last but not least on the list today, we have Vav, very awesome voice with Thrilla Killer. I saw that they they had a, um. so this was released today. No, yesterday. Oh, whoa, wait, hold on. Okay, so this was released yesterday. What time? Because I woke up in the morning. Oh, yeah, they released this on the 17th and then this yesterday. It must have been like very late last night because I came home and I crashed. I didn't wake up till this morning. <laughs> Story of my life. Oh, I think I was just like sick or something. Still feeling sick. But uh, anyways, um, they are under. I don't want to say genie. No, no, no. They're with the A team. <laughs> a team. They are with A team. Uh, so Vav, very awesome voice. What it stands for? Thriller, killer, killer. A team. Hey, team, let's go. So I think um, it's gonna sound a lot more like um. Oh yeah, I was gonna say like that uh, Michael Jackson style. Oh, let's go. I don't know any of the members' names. I'm I'm sorry. I did profile them on my own, and I already forgot everyone's names. This guy. I couldn't tell if that was still a build to the chorus, or if this is the chorus, or th if that was the chorus. Couldn't really tell. I want to say this is the chorus. Oh yeah, this is. I was gonna say, I was like, 
if this is the chorus, it's not very strong until they started saying Thrilla Killa. Then it got me. That was a good build. That was a really good build to it. Now we're back to the verse. Look at the choreo. He's low level. Look at the, like a little bit, little bit of b boy in here. Let's go. I like this drop here. Oh. <laughs> I didn't follow the music. Let's up with all the strings and stuff. Ah, I like that chorus. It was like, it kind of fooled me at first. I'm like, is this it? This is all the chorus has? And then they come in with this pack and punch with the thriller killer portion of it. I like songs where it doesn't really super emphasize on the title of the song. Kind of like a Monster X's Alligator, where they just repeat it over and over and over and over and over again. <laughs> guy in his shirt man <laughs> yo he he's like he's the lady killer man look at him yo he's feeling it <laughs> he's feeling something <laughs> I liked it, man. That was good, man. <laughs> it was um very chill, laid back, kind of um like if you think of uh Michael Jackson, especially Thriller <laughs> or Thriller. It had like this hard hitting, like you wanted to get up and dance to it. But this song, it was more like laid back and chill, just like, and um, it, I want to say it was kind of a little bit like the instrumentals were um kind of a uh, resemblance to like a um like a michael jackson song like a tribute to a michael jackson song but uh hold on let's go back and profile them really quick um i didn't profile them last time so so bad so yeah let's just go through the members really quick there they are. I think there's seven of them, but there's six in this picture, I want to say. Unless they lost somebody. I don't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is the thing that got me with their names. Is like, uh, they're, they're like, I think their fandom is uh, vamps, is it? Yeah, vamps. So they're kind of like vampires or something. <laughs> so this guy's name is Saint Van. Saint. It's Saint Van. So royal or so. <laughs> um. Yeah. <laughs> then you got Baron. Baron. Uh Ace. Then Aino. Yeah, Aino. I don't know if Jacob is with them. I think Jacob is a drop. His his uh his profile looks like it's um it's old. Then you got low. Low and uh Jew. Jew. And then former members, of course. We're not going to go through former members. So, yeah, I think there is uh, only six members. So, <coughs> with that said and done, let's jump right into their live performance from the other day. That's a low start. Low level start. Oh, dang. Got the tutting or the popping. Yo, these low levels, dr low level drops in their choreo, dope. Yeah, I 
Hey, zoom is with a camera, man. Come on, keep it out. Isn't this a fan cam? Tong Tong TV? Yo, they, they always like... They always come out with these... These good um, performance videos. Like even before the music video comes out. <laughs> the hell? How are they seeing them before they even debut their their music video? Debut, um, before they even release their music video. Was this mic not working and now it is? I like that front and center level, low level. Damn, sing it, bruh. Is that Saint Saint Man? <laughs> I might get it wrong. Get their names wrong. Ah, oh, come on, Tong Tong TV. Just keep it out. Don't zoom in. Gotta see everybody. Keeps fixing his mic. <laughs> Oh, what's up with their mics? Everyone's adjusting theirs. Oh, damn, break it. Oh, yo, bro, break it down. Come on, Tong Tong, why are you closing in? Oh, this is triggering me. Come on, man. Let's see the choreo. Oh, my God. Tong Tong, please. Dope. And then they finish off with the the last the first position that they started out in. Dope choreo. They really want me to watch uh Daya. Okay, let's watch Daya again. So as a closing. As a closing. Alright guys, that's it for this session. Uh session is Well, do we have announcements? I don't know. Let me think. Do we have announcements? Uh April 1st, Eyes One. Um next week we have uh let me see what we have. I can't see it from here. There's some things going on next week, but uh but yeah. Hold on, let me check real quick. <laughs> We got um sorry about that we do have a uh, stray kids coming out with something next week something about clay uh beetle something like that but stray kids check them out man i think stray kids is jyp's very underrated male group but uh yeah check them out they they're coming out with something next monday so and then uh the week after that was it april 1st yeah week after that will be the comeback the first comeback, we're going to finally see what Eyes 1 is capable of. I mean, they already won, but that was their debut. And um, yeah, it, like I say, it's uh, what my buddy, what me and my buddy um, that I met in the, at Red Mill concert, the, uh, the, the debut, I mean, yeah, it, it debut is a debut, but re what really counts is the comeback and uh, what really counts is the comeback and the live performances so we're gonna see what eyes one is gonna bring finally gonna bring to the table with their very first comeback so april 1st check them out um yeah we'll end off with that session is now over i think the twitch stream will still go on just for a little bit just to just to chill but uh yeah session is now over and Stay tuned to next session and peace on out guys and have a good week again from Tuesday.
Alright, peace.